It's a jungle out there, and NBA stars spend their earnings on all sorts of wild things. Literally. Let's take a look at some of the strangest pets in the NBA. Fans of basketball across the globe know who Dwight Howard is. The Superman himself has racked stacks over an illustrious career, but he's also amassed a crazy collection of something wild. Snakes! I guess Dwight should be adding herpetologists to his LinkedIn profile. At one time, the eight-time All-Star owned 50 snakes. That's a lot of reptiles. Thankfully, he's lowered his collection to a modest 13. I think they're amazing. Reptiles can teach you a lot about how to be still. It might sound crazy, but I think snakes are always in a meditative state. They're so zen and calm. Dwight Howard. Sounds like nothing but good vibes allowed at D12's house. Shaquille O'Neal is one of the NBA's biggest personalities. And after Diesel's Hall of Fame career, he's had success as an analyst on TV. One of the less known facts about Shaq is his love for white tigers. Because they're rare and they're really beautiful. Mike Tyson has a couple white tigers. Siegfried and Roy let me see their white tigers, Shaquille O'Neal. Diesel had bought two white tiger cubs in 2010 and raised them over the years. Incidentally, Shaq wound up on Netflix's Tiger King and on Joe Exotic's web series. While Shaq still loves his big cats, they're living elsewhere now for their safety. And their caretaker, Tiger Dave, has had them in Jacksonville since 2015. Carmelo Anthony is one of the NBA's biggest personalities and his tastes reflected. After his trade to the New York Knicks in 2011, Melo made one of the most puzzling pet purchases ever, a camel. After buying the peculiar pet, Melo posted a picture of him with his new companion. Everybody got dogs and cats as pets, I got a camel, Carmelo Anthony. While there's not much of an update on the camel's whereabouts today, Melo apparently went camel racing with T-Mac and Klay Thompson in Qatar. That'll sure make one hell of a drinking story. A lot of young NBA players make some bad money decisions after entering the league. And unfortunately for Ben Simmons, his purchases were more of the exotic variety. The Aussie baller made the wild choice of buying not one, but two Savannah cats. Simmons' brother, Sean Tribe, recalled how much of a handful the cats were to look after. It's like a wild animal. We had them for about four or five months, and I told Ben, we can't have these cats anymore. This is crazy, Sean Tribe. The cats were finally sent back to the breeder, much to Sean's relief. Ben Simmons' love of animals never faded, and he still owns pets to this day. Luckily for his brother, it's just the dog and some fish, for now. Another NBA star with a flair for the wild side is Anthony Davis. And in similar fashion, AD spent money early on in his career on exotic wildlife. This time, it was a tiny marmoset monkey named Meek. After seeing a teammate with a monkey and being hyped up about it, Davis was sold on the idea of teaching the monkey tricks. But it wasn't long before Davis got tired of Meek. He ended up getting me one, and I found out my monkey did none of that. I had it about a year and a half, and I was like, this is not for me. I gave it back to him, Anthony Davis. Monkey see? Okay. But monkey do? Eh, not so much. Still, AD's purchase was of the more tame variety when compared to other stars. Gilbert Arenas, aka Agent Zero, had sharks living in a custom-built tank in his mansion. Yup, sharks. Sounds like something out of a James Bond movie. While the sharks aren't around anymore and Arena sold his crib, his sharp-toothed pals cost $6,500 a month to take care of. Now that is an expensive pet. The league's biggest names might not always make the best financial moves. But hey, with money to throw around, why not buy the whole zoo?